Theo, you're just wonderful in this film. And I'm sure it was like a, a pinch yourself moment that you were in a horror film with Kevin Bacon. I'm sure that coolness factor hasn't worn off any, but what was your biggest takeaway of just working with such a legend? Oh gosh, my biggest takeaway of, hmm. I really like the way that Kevin holds himself. He really takes his time with everything. You know, when he's on set, like he really has a presence and a gravity that is like, I don't know, whenever I'm in the room with, you know, like a more senior actor, I'm always like, this is a masterclass. And I really felt like seeing him like, I mean, he's been working for such a long time because he's really talented. I really was like, I'm learning so much from this guy, the way he carries himself, the way he, like, the way he deals with his character trajectory throughout the movie, mm. like, ah. And then also there was, like, the fan person moment of, like, I can't believe that I'm in the same room with this person. I can't believe I just beat the game. Um, <laughs> it was, it was really cool. It was a pleasure working with him, honestly. Awesome. And Austin, uh, you have so many fun scenes throughout. And I really love, there's a great montage of all the camp participants doing, you know, like tug of war and different games. What was the highlight of getting to do those little camp activities for you? Wow. I would say the obstacle course was a big highlight. Um, the firearm moment was a big highlight um and yeah like there was there was just like a lot of little moments that that were because they were talking about uh early earlier theo was talking about kind of working together with like the actual experiences that we have had as lgbtq people but then also melding that with the narrative and like kind of getting like triggered ish like as a cast together and having to you know relive things and bring things up and it's like yeah, it can be challenging as an actor, but it's like so fun because you get to actually like live in this place that is kind of hidden from like a lot of people. Yeah. So many people yeah. are just having these thoughts in their head and like, you know, can I say this? Can I say that? Who can I tell about this? Who can I tell about that? And we're all on the same page throughout the cast, throughout the production, like, and it's just so cohesive and great. Sky, I thought the beginning of the film was so interesting because like obviously the idea of a gay conversion camp being progressive is just a total oxymoron and ridiculous but you know kevin's character is very almost accepting at the beginning and you know coming across is almost likable can you talk about just how much that kind of worked and you know set the tone and so you could subvert it later on Absolutely. Well, so there's two things. At first, it's based in reality. Um, conversion therapy has moved away from being the sort of like intense, like, you know, beat it out of you to a more like, oh, no, we're cool, too. It's called the Freedom March movement. And you can look it up. It's it's you know, it's like a virus. It just mutates so that it can hurt more people. Um, and and then but also, you know, I was very clear and John was incredibly clear about we didn't want to turn off a whole group of people. We didn't want to make it, you know, even though conversion therapy is often found in faith based communities, we didn't want to go for that because it's it's everywhere. People do this all the mm -hmm. time in all kinds of ways. So making it even even people who who seem progressive. Mm -hmm. So um, we yeah. wanted to really ground it in that, like this is actually like how it is in the world mm -hmm. um, and and not go after any particular group. Uh, because unfortunately, you know, a lot of people perpetrate this. Like Jordan's character, like the character Jordan as an example, is a person who I decided is kind of religious, you know, and I was really yeah. interested. Comes in, from a religious right. family. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I was really interested in having that be a thing in regards to like, they're very much like, you know, I have a faith and also I'm a non-binary person and those two mm -hmm. things exist at the same time, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time today. The film's really great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.